One of the great things about exposed framework and the gravity box module is that you can add specific features into Android. And a lot of times you can control that feature a lot more than you can when compared to an application from the Google Play Store. Now a great example of this is the data traffic monitor feature. Now if you go through the Play Store you will find dozens if not hundreds of different third-party applications that let you that will display your current data traffic status whether it's inside the application or in a persistent notification or even in the status bar but there are a lot of parts of that feature and that and those applications that you just simply cannot control so for example if you want it if you want that application on at all times you're gonna have a persistent notification some people don't want to have notifications sitting in their notification shade all the time another drawback is the placement of that icon you know, persistent icons from third-party applications are always on the left side and that's just one of the restrictions of the Google Play Store and their applications but with Gravity Box we can control all of this so to enable this feature we're just going to go ahead and launch the Gravity Box application and we're going to tap on the status bar tweaks option and then right here toward the bottom of our options menu we have the data traffic monitor now by default this feature will be turned off so that you aren't bombarded by data traffic information when you don't want the feature and just by tapping on the data traffic monitor style option we can choose between the simple style which just gives us a number and we can choose between the omni style which got famous from the custom rom omni rom you can immediately tell the difference between these because the simple style is just going to tell you basic information whereas the omni style is going to show you two numbers one for upload and one for download and also you'll notice that when you go from disabled to one of these styles we get a whole bunch of options to choose from so if you want you can have this data traffic monitor only monitor mobile data so only whenever you are connected and the data that you are using is going to and from your cellular data plan for the simple style we also have display mode options so we can have it always displayed only for Android download manager so for things that you download in Chrome or whenever there is a progress bar showing in the status bar from here we can also change the position which by default is set to auto we can also move it to the left and we can move it to the right which is actually where I prefer it since it's one of these icons that you typically want to have sitting in your status bar at all times just having it on the right side instead of the left side where things are normally more urgent or actionable We can also choose to show this on the lock screen or not. By default, it will show this on the lock screen. And we have some options to change the size and the inactivity mode. So whenever there's nothing there, we can hide on inactivity. So when there is no activity, nothing is shown, but when there is some, some goes up. And then we can change to show the summary and hide on inactivity. Now again that's just for the simple style. We also have the Omni style which in some cases does share some of the same customization options but there's also some more. We can choose to show the icon, the up and down arrow icon and we can actually adjust the inactivity threshold to where if you do not want to see stuff pop up there at 
219 bits per second, we can change this to kilobits and then, then that will only show you real important data traffic information. And we can also, again, by default, this is set to both upload and download, but we can do either just the download or the upload or both. So that's just a brief demonstration of the data traffic monitor feature that is built into Gravity Box using the exposed framework.